This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com, your one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. Well, greetings and welcome to another one of our videos. And in this one, I want to explore uh, a solution to a problem that we've been having for years now. And as the technology keeps improving, the solutions keep getting better. Uh, this specifically involves recording with the F3 and then uh, editing in DaVinci Resolve. And the reason we're recording with the Zoom F3, there's, there's a couple of different reasons. Um, the biggest one that we've talked about for a lot is uh, the ability to record the 32-bit float, which has an infinite floor and an infinite ceiling. And I'm not going to go into too much depth on, on those concepts here. We've done previous videos on that. But the F3 can record in two channels, so stereo, and it records a 32-bit float. Well, this allows us to do a bunch of things in DaVinci Resolve, which is a great video editing software that can handle the 32-bit float. It's very, very powerful. Well, what we've been doing a lot of lately is making drum videos <clears throat> with Peter Knudsen, who incidentally does the intro and outro drumming on all our videos. And the challenges that we run into when recording an instrument with speaking is that the levels on the instrument are really loud and the level on speaking is really soft in comparison. The way we've solved this in the past, we've done a bunch of videos on that, is recording with two different microphones and then mixing the sound together, ducking one or dropping it out entirely, which is completely legitimate and it works. But using the Zoom F3 and uh, some features in DaVinci Resolve, we can do it even simpler. And so let's come over here onto our screen share onto DaVinci Resolve and I have preloaded um, from one of Peter's latest drum videos and so you've got the uh, the video there which I haven't done anything with editing and then the audio and you can see here one of the problems in the audio is it is just really really hot and so what we're gonna do on this is what's called compression if we come over here to Fairlight um, and again you can see uh, these levels and well I'll just play a little bit so you can hear what the problem is yeah so when I'm doing like a 30 second note, um So you can immediately see the problem there that his speaking is really low and the um, the drumming is really high. Well, what we can do if we select the track, come over here into Dynamics, and we want to make sure that that's live, which it is, and we activate our compressor. And well, actually, before I activate the compressor, so I, I want to see the level of the problem. So what we want to know is the input level of the speaking and the uh, input level of the drumming. So we're going to watch over here where it says input. Um, yeah. So when I'm doing like a 30 second note, um... So Peter speaking is uh, topping out an input of about negative 25 uh, decibels. So anything over that uh, in this video is going to be the drumming. Um, so if we come over here to our compressor, um, what we want to set is what's called our threshold. The threshold is the level at which the compression is going to take effect. Now, because of where he is in his speaking, I actually want to set that threshold down here, in my opinion, probably somewhere right around about eh, 27 would be good. Now the ratio is what's going to be really important. What that is, is everything that's over that threshold, what is, how much is it going to be reduced by? So at the moment it's about two to one. So for every two decibels over the threshold, it's going to be reduced by uh, to one. I want to set this fairly high because the drumming is really, you know, redlining all over the place. So I'm actually going to get very aggressive with this and go up to about uh, about a seven uh, to one. So we set our slider there. And uh, th this is a very rudimentary uh, a tutorial on how to do this. So I'm not going to go into too much more depth. So what we're going to watch here is the input level. It's still going to show what the uh, input is from the raw. And then we're going to see what the output is after the compression here. And then up here, it's going to show us the gain reduction. So how much it actually had an effect. So watch as much as possible. So Peter um, speaking is still right here. Yeah. And this is a graphic so uh, a representation of what it's going to be. So here we go. So look how much that gain is being reduced down here, and then it's topping out at about minus 15 decibels. Um, you have a couple different options there. You can skip up the pedal. Some people like to do the skip. So that is dramatically reducing the gap uh, between 
what the drumming is doing and what Peter is doing. And so what that's allowing me to do then is to just record using the stereo mic setup that I have, uh, only recording one take, one mic, not having to clip a lav onto them and, uh, and mix that stuff down. So we're compressing the really hot signal from the drum so that it's a lot lower and coming closer to his speaking. So that way we're not losing the speaking and we're not getting killed on the drumming there. So really, really, really rudimentary idea in it, but it will save a ton of time and it makes the recording side of it so much easier. So compression, DaVinci Resolve over in the Fairlight, look into it. It is a very powerful tool and it's very, very useful when recording an instrument along with speaking. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out the other videos in the channel. Let me know what you think. Comment. Let me know what else you want to see. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch up with you next time. If you're facing a unique problem with podcasting or remote learning, we can help. Reach out to us at thepodcastingstore.com and we'll see what solutions we can find for you. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our e-newsletter and you'll never miss another podcast or video again. This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com. Thank you for listening.